Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to uh, show you and teach you uh, actually paging uh, but uh, not in the form of the paging but it's show show more button and uh, also use uh, pagings okay so here we have a show more button just when we click on the show more button you will see that uh, the next record will come like sixth class and the seventh class looking like that but paging is not visible and also not updated your uh, url if you are seeing paging then you can see uh, url is updated with the number of page one two but uh, right now here are not uh, visible the page number in the route okay so how to do this in asp.net core paging without a route as well as uh, use show more button and you can use show more or load data without uh, you can say uh, use paging but it's not visible okay so uh, that's are the good thing you can do you can see that it's not uh, actually um, when we just re refresh this and you will see that here we have a simple URL just when we uh, click on the show more then you will see that your URL will not update it but your records are updated okay so uh, how to do this in ESP.NET Core and also here I am using paging instead of uh, whole uh, records are displayed on a single page okay so how to use paging but it's not display on your page so just open my visual studio code and here you can see that here we have a controller uh, that is a grids controller and where is the grids controller and here we have a grids controller right now in the grids controller here we have a action method uh, show more button and here I'm using paging that is page 1 and page size is 5 and Get all the grades according to the page number So page minus 1 I mean to say that 1 minus 1 is multiply size that is 5 that is 0 So the first time that record skip 0 and take the page size that is 5 records at a time that of result and records are sent to the CSHTML page and here we have a CSHTML page then records are display in the form of uh, division like uh, where records in model and model is the list of grid view model where uh, grids are displayed okay so when we click the next time I mean to say that that is the section script is uh, running where page is 2 page size is 5 that is the similar show more dot click I mean to say that uh, when we button is clicked show more then Ajax is called by that URL admin grade get more records page is like that page equals to page that is 2 and page size is 5 and now that URL will be called and what is the URL that is get records and the page is here is 2 because in, you can see in the uh, in the page is 2 like that okay so here we have a page is 2 so grade service dot get all 2 minus 1 1 and skip 5 records at a time and the next record will be display I mean to say that set 2 records then in the get more records here I am using to render partial view instead of this view so here we have a partial view that is record partial and on this view just I am going to that records I mean to say that two records. So here we have a partial uh, partial page records partial and that is the partial but partial page is actually visible on your man page I mean to say that page and that page uh, grades controller on your response you can see that success dot data and here we have a two records and in the data you can see that in the form of partial page so data is a partial page so records dot append that data i mean to say that partial page and partial page is rendered on that or you can say that append this on this uh, records okay so now the next time page plus plus that is the page size is increment by three so if you have any records uh, 
more than 10 then mm, the next record will be displayed okay so instead of paging you can use show more button and internally you can use paging Thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other videos which is related to ASP.NET Core.